If you don't know what the Mark of the Beast is, check out this in-depth study or just view some of the many videos I have posted on my Mark of the Beast page. And if you don't know how prophecy says the Pope in Rome will use climate change to enforce the mark, see another in-depth study or just watch some of the many videos I posted on my climate change page. For those that know what the mark is and how the Pope will in fact use climate change to enforce it very soon, check this out. Pope Francis very recently invited seven specific groups of people to further engage in a process of ecological conversion. Families, schools, universities, dioceses, religious orders, hospitals, and agriculture. These different realities are places that, in diverse ways, communicate with and relate to the earth, our human family, and God. They can become places for experimenting with new ways of living, educating, teaching, researching, celebrating, governing, being in solidarity, managing, caring, working, eating, and moving. The Pope has suggested a time frame of seven years for this process. As we learned two years ago, the Pope and his Vatican-controlled United Nations leader announced their plans for a one-world government by 2030. This push to enforce the mark three years prior is obviously his way of escalating his New World Order agenda. Will he get his wish by 2030 or perhaps even sooner by 2027? Well, the basic reality is this. Like the global ID plans that they had and have been postponed quite a few times since 2005, what the powers that be want and what will be allowed to happen via our Heavenly Father's expressed written will in his word are actually two different things. I mean, after all, it is only the Father himself that knows the day and the hour of all future events. All that's needed to enforce the mark in our generation have been on the books for years now. I've got plenty of videos about that, but nothing is going to happen until the latter rain falls more abundantly upon the obedient remnant people, the loud cry goes forth, and the 501c3 preachers and their political puppeteers do all they can to try and shut us up. And the way they try to shut us up is to, of course, enforce the mark. With all that said, when we see what's happening in the world right now, as well as what they plan to do in the very near future, as students of prophecy, we know these are the final signs that Christ's return is very near. Everything is falling into place, exactly as our Heavenly King prophesied. But will this be enough to get some Christians off the couch so as to join the remnant people to proclaim present truth before it becomes illegal to do so? Which, of course, won't stop us either. But as prophesied, some will. Sadly, most will not. Thank you for watching. God bless.